Over decades, fat and liver disease, once linked to heavy drinking, has surged in both kids and adults. Shockingly, it affects a sizable chunk of the U.S. population, with up to 46% of adults and 5-10% to of kids impacted, regardless of weight. Surprisingly, alcohol isn't the sole cause. Sugar also plays a big role, notably fructose. This video will explore how sugar affects us and fuels metabolic disorders along with tests to gauge risks. Let's start. Sugar's Effects on Your Health A recent study conducted on children who were obese and had metabolic syndrome revealed compelling results. The study showed that by reducing dietary sugar and replacing it with starch, significant positive effects on metabolic parameters could be observed even when calorie intake and weight remain constant. Merely substituting sugar with starch led to improvements in blood pressure, glucose tolerance, and cholesterol levels among children with metabolic syndrome. These findings challenge the conventional belief that calories are the primary factor in maintaining a healthy weight and suggest that the type of calories we consume may play a more substantial role in our overall health than previously believed. It's worth noting that dietary starch could use in this study for simplicity and should not be consumed in large quantities. Instead, one can always opt for fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds to add a nutritional boost to their diet. Why is sugar so bad for you? Sugar, particularly sucrose, which is the common table sugar, is composed of two molecules, glucose and fructose. Glucose is a vital source of energy for the body, supporting various bodily processes. However, excessive consumption of glucose can contribute to various health conditions. It's worth noting that the body can produce glucose from fats or proteins even if it's not consumed through the diet. Fructose, on the other hand, is different. Unlike glucose, fructose is not essential for survival. While it occurs naturally in fruits and honey, it is also added to many processed foods and sweetened beverages in the form of high fructose corn syrup. Comparing dietary fructose consumption to pouring gasoline on a fire is apt as it can cause and worsen numerous health conditions. When we consume glucose, our body releases insulin which plays a vital role. However, in large amounts, insulin can have detrimental effects such as promoting the storage of energy in fat cells and contributing to weight gain. Excessive fructose, on the other hand, accumulates in the liver and can lead to fatty liver disease. This condition causes insulin resistance which is distinct from insulin secretion. Insulin resistance is a significant factor in the development of chronic metabolic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's and cancer. The prevalence of these chronic diseases places a considerable burden on our healthcare system. Why can't we get rid of sugar? Indeed, the addictive nature of sugar, particularly fructose, is a fascinating topic. Scientists have discovered that sugar activates the brain's reward centers, leading to a drug-like effect that can result in bringing cravings, tolerance, withdrawal, and even opioid-like effects. This can make it challenging for individuals to let go of sugar despite being aware of its dangers. However, proving that fructose is the primary cause of these issues has been difficult for scientists. Conducting long-term studies on fructose consumption is complex and ensuring compliance with dietary restrictions is even more challenging. To overcome these obstacles, researchers have conducted short-term studies such as a 9-day study where they observed that interval of fructose restriction led to improvements in various health makers. These included blood pressure, glucose tolerance, insulin sensitivity, and lipid levels. Based on these findings, researchers believe that longer-term sugar restriction could provide additional health benefits. It's important to continue conducting research in this area to gain a better understanding of the effects of fructose and sugar on our health. By unraveling the complexities of sugar addiction and its impact, we can develop strategies to promote healthier dietary habits and mitigate the associated health risks. Next, what effects fructose has on human health? Fructose can have detrimental effects on health in several ways. When consumed, fructose undergoes a metabolic process in the liver, leading to the production of uric acid. Unlike glucose, which is metabolized by all body cells, fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver. This metabolism generates various metabolites, including uric acid, which is released into the bloodstream. Additionally, the breakdown of purines in food also contributes to uric acid production. Elevated uric acid levels can contribute to health problems such as gout, kidney stones, and cardiovascular disease. 
Furthermore, fructose consumption has been linked to increased blood pressure. It is believed that fructose can lead to increased sodium absorption by the body. Sodium is an essential electrolyte, but excessive sodium intake can cause fluid retention and elevate blood pressure. Fructose may also reduce the excretion of sodium in urine, further contributing to sodium accumulation and high blood pressure. Interestingly, the mentioned study on children found that restricting dietary fructose resulted in a decrease in diastolic blood pressure, which represents sense the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest. Researchers also believe that excessive dietary fructose intake is a significant contributor to metabolic disorders including obesity, insulin resistance, and dyslipidemia. However, further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms and long-term effects of fructose on overall health. Overload of Mitochondria in the Liver High fructose consumption has been linked to a condition called mitochondrial overload in the liver. Mitochondria are responsible for producing energy cells by generating ATP, the body's primary energy currency. Excessive fructose intake can overload the mitochondria in the liver, leading to dysfunction and contributing to the development of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of disorders that increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. This mitochondrial overload can also result in organic-specific dysfunction such as high blood pressure. Additionally, the research indicates that restricting fructose intake improves lactate levels which are often elevated in individuals with metabolic disorders. Lactate is a byproduct of the body's energy production process. High lactate levels suggest inefficiency in energy utilization similar to a car burning excessive fuel. By restricting fructose, the liver may better regulate the energy production process leading to improved lactate levels. An indicator of mitochondrial dysfunction is the accumulation of visceral fat, particularly in the liver. Men with a waist circumference of 40 inches or greater and women with a waist circumference of 35 inches or greater are more prone to developing visceral or liver fat. To determine if you are consuming excessive amounts of sugar and developing insulin resistance, which is a significant risk factor for type 2 diabetes and other metabolic disorders, doctors may advise tests such as fasting blood glucose, postprandial sugar, and HbA1c to assess blood sugar levels. Fasting insulin levels can also be helpful in detecting insulin resistance. Insulin resistance occurs when the body becomes less responsive to effects of insulin, leading to increased insulin production by pancreas to regulate blood sugar levels. Over time, elevated insulin levels can indicate insulin resistance. A fasting insulin test involves measuring the amount of insulin in the blood after an overnight fast. While a below 25 micro units per milliliter is considered normal, many health experts believe that keeping it below 10 micro units per milliliter is more desirable. It's important to note that while fasting insulin levels can be a valuable marker for insulin resistance, they should be evaluated in conjunction with other diagnostic tools for a comprehensive assessment. Excessive fructose found in sugar harms health by fueling metabolic syndrome, fat in liver disease, high blood pressure, and insulin resistance. It disrupts energy production in the liver. Limiting fructose improves health markers like blood pressure and insulin sensitivity. Monitoring sugar intake, especially fructose, is vital for health. Tests like fasting glucose, post-meal sugar, HbA1c, and fasting insulin levels track sugar control and insulin resistance. Consulting healthcare pros and eating a balanced diet with fresh food can counter sugar's harm and boost well-being.